First of all, I'd like to give all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory to Almighty God. Almighty God. And second, I'd like to thank Yousef and all those involved in holding this event for us. It really shows the love and appreciation for the people on Skid Row. I am twin and I do represent Skid Row. So I'm going to give you some expression. And this is how we express ourselves on Skid Row. This one is called... If you insult my intelligence, I will expose your ignorance because your psychological games ain't working. An audience can be a weapon formed against me, especially if I attack the conscience and make the majority feel guilty. If I do, I'd have to say that audience does not represent the larger masses of a poetry-loving population. I'd have to say it's denial, minus patience, minus wisdom, minus endurance. Truth is my insurance, see who follows you, it looks like almost everybody. Metaphorically and literally, you speak deceptively with no potency, no originality. You sound and look like a generic copy of me. What's insulting is your boldness and you thinking I won't expose this by upgrading my own self-identity from mistakes made in my own delinquency. Like the revolution being a delusion of the physical specifically. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised because the revolution will be fought mentally, economically, and spiritually against rulers of the darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, and principalities who insult my intelligence with assumptions and DVDs like The Secret. If you think it, you'll achieve it. Is that logic? Stop it. Ancient Egyptians already thought it and wrote it. Then you stole it along with my birthright and legacy and made a new world order from it. From the head to the pen, I write it. I don't hide it. I recite it. If it ain't black, why do you solicit me to buy it? If you give me what you owe me, instead of blaming it on the recession, I just might try it. I feel pretty and so witty to teach you what it means to be angry and those who say they black, but at the same time say, I'm a Christian, I love everybody. Your ideology is smelly, the epitome of stupidity. Prepare for the dark ages, black accountability. I've awakened, so I'll never ease up. Won't let you take no broom to what you fear, to sweep under no rug, which is my mind, proactively articulating skillfully. My experience is the recipe to a spoken word that becomes the remedy. A remedy you won't be able to as no measuring stick because if you hate what's original and basic you won't be able to properly measure it and unimportant is the geographical like Skid Row where I'm from because I see you moving no mountains nor do I hear no wisdom come from your tongue your first mistake is to judge me by my appearance proves you ignorant and contradicts your claims of intelligence you got me confused with some street thug or maybe a rapper wanna be. Recollect your thought. I'm a poet, confident in what I express to be profound, and I know it. I don't use words, put them together just to make them sound good and rhyme. I use words, put them together to make them rhyme and also make sense and teach at the same time. But you counter express what I present, defecate my character, remove my content, take what I say out of is your intent, but you're wasting your time Because it never did, it never will work You only prove that it's only you that the truth hurts Why else would you waste your time playing mind games Why you physically appear to be unaware I even exist just the same You test me mentally to hide from being exposed physically 
but your behavior is a witness to your trickery. Trickery that ain't working, turning into your misery needing company. You ain't even on my level. You still working with stereotypes and theories. You learn from reading? Well, I thank God for the ability to read and express my reality. And the reality is, without wisdom, means you lost already. One without wisdom equals one without logic equals one not knowing they lost. To obtain wisdom is to make a sacrifice and pay a heavy cost. While your politics makes you believe you can manipulate me, wisdom enables me to manipulate this foreign English language. Speaking Ebonics and proper English, passionately, articulating to the masses skillfully, rewriting curriculum and history through my spoken word poetry. Your psychological games ain't working, sir. Uh, ma'am, I ain't a nigga no more. I know who I am. I am who I identify with, the original Asiatic black man here before Columbus, the European, the Asian, the Indian, the Mestizo Mexican, and true native of this land where I stand. My ancestors populated the world. Instead of African American, you can call me Black Diasporan. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Just got out the penitentiary of psychological slavery, so I continue my journey to take back and obtain a stolen legacy. Know thyself must be a priority before love of self or anybody else loving me or anybody else even knowing me or anybody else even liking me. But still, if you insult my intelligence, I will expose your ignorance because your psychological games ain't working. Skid, roll, flowing.